Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nick Reeves and in the workshop today. This is the next instalment in the build of this experimental wing that I'm calling Project A just now. Um, I think in the end of the last video uh, I left it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I left it. We were going to be seeing about waiting on the fuel tanks to come. One fuel tank has come. Um, long story short, not happy about it. Supplier let me down. But anyway, we'll get on from that. Um, I've got a tank now which I can move on with. It sounds like a parcel's just arrived outside. Um, but we'll see if it's coming here or not. What I'll do is get this tank out. I need to see where it's going to line up or fit behind this firewall. And then uh, cut the foam out. Back in a bit. It was cheap. Right, back again. Fuel tank, two ounce, I believe. Yep, two ounce tank. It's going to fit somewhere there, which is good. So let's get some marks on this. I'll start talking to somebody else. It's because Mini Me's out of camera shot just now playing with an engine. Please don't turn it over you. Yeah, I'm not going to be too cautious about this. What I will do, once it's cut out, I will actually line it with balsa. And again, down the sides of these cheeks, I'll line with balsa as well, just like 30 seconds or something. Epoxy that in, just so it's a bit more fuel proof in there. I'm not going to hit it with fuel proof or anything, it's just in case there's a fuel leak, it's another barrier to stop it getting to the foam. I'm actually not sure at the moment how I'm going to cut this out because the knife I was going to use. Yeah, I don't really want to use that. You were suggesting using the Dremel. And we all know, going on previous videos, if you look back through back catalogue videos I've done, according to some people, Dremel tools are dangerous. Anyway. No, exactly. Right. Let's cut this out. We have a hole for a fuel tank. The issue now, yeah, the fuel tank goes in there, and this goes in there too well. So, what we need to do is going to be the best way of doing this. We have to take a light sanding to this, which is fine, and then we'll get just like the battery at the back, or the battery bay at the back, I'm going to get a piece of ply stuck to the bottom. Um, make it all secure. Now I've actually just had a thought, I might be able to take that bit more foam out and get the throttle servo just sat in the back there. 
throttle servo. We're not going to use the throttle on this, are we? What? We're not going to use the throttle on this. It's going to be all or nothing, isn't it? Uh huh? 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 Yeah, it's going to be all or nothing. Again, I'm talking to out of a short camera boy. Right, let's get some ply made. Or some fine into some sanding done. Right, so in the meantime, while that's drying, I've got a couple of other things I need to do, but I'll have to assemble the tank. Um, nothing can be spectacular with this. Uh, I might even just go for a, a two pipe setup. Um, yeah, what I might well then do is. Once that's done, when I come to it, I secure the tank in just with a cable tie over the top, just to stop it rattling around and falling out. So you don't want the fuel tank falling out when you're flying. Especially when it's taken God knows how long to get a fuel tank like this. Anyway, that's the sort of fuel tank I'm on about. Again, I don't know how well you'll be able to see because of the light or the lack of light. But it's got like a slant front. There you go, I might see better like that. That means the pipes will come up over the top of the firewall a lot easier. Um, so yeah. Hopefully two ounces will be enough fuel as well. It's going to be enough for a bit of fun anyway. Worst case scenario as well, I think I'll be able to fit a four ounce tank in there. And that might be in Mark II. So I'll come back to you in a bit. So, in the grand scheme of things, a bit of time has passed now since the last segment of the video. Um, I have watched back the last section, just trying to refresh myself as to where we were, and I think we were just cutting out the tank bay. Now, in that video, I'll stick it on this piece of ply on the bottom here. That's now made like the floor of the tank bay. Um, other things that I've done, which I don't think I filmed, I thought I did, but I've put some, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, I've got some wooden cheeks in like the inside of the engine mount area just to stop fuel getting into the foam or anything uh, and that one needs trimmed back um, again I don't know if I filmed it or not or told you about it but I've started to shape the leading edge uh, and I've shaped the training edge to the shape of the, the aerofoil um, the tank itself is made up again. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Here, there's a clunk in there. If that tank isn't big enough, doesn't last very long, I've got a four ounce tank that should fit in the, in the hole with a little bit of work. Um, so, really, now I need to try and press on and get this finished. Um, I've got a lot of other things going on just now, modeling wise and non modeling wise. Um, so I'm trying to try and keep the videos coming as soon as I can. Um, uh, hopefully sooner or later I'll be able to tell you guys one of the projects that I've been working on. Um, which could be exciting for everybody to be honest. But for now I'm going to crack on with this. Um, I did make up one of the elevons. I thought I made two, but for the love of God I can't find out where I put the other one. Um, so I need to find another piece of stiff balsa like that 
to uh, make another oil of them. But uh, yeah, I'll crack on. Alright, so for the last little while I've been uh, sanding leading edges, training edges, etc. Uh, the tank is now going to be a nice snug fit in there, it's made up. And the only thing really left to do now is give everything a, a very light sanding over. Um, I've got the channels, I don't get into it here, will you be able to see? Channels in here, the servo leads, because the receiver's going to be in this bay at the back as well. Um, really the next thing to do now is to start doing the taping. Uh, so I'm going to use the reinforcing tape. The strapping tape as uh, most people call it. And uh, start covering the bottom. Um, I can't do much of the top because uh, I need to want, I need, I need to centre the servos, get them all set and set up, get uh, arms on them, check that all out. But that'll be in the next video probably. Um, so yeah, I think we're at a good stage now to start doing the taping. So while I go and see what tape stock I've got, I might have to order up some. Um, if this is the sort of thing you've been liking, um, give us a thumbs up below, comment, it's all appreciated. Uh, I try and acknowledge every comment even if I can't reply to every comment. Um, if you're not already subscribed, down here there's a subscribe button, tick that. Um, tick the bell, you'll get a notification when I put a new video up. Um.